Welcome to Life with Lori. Lori's special guest today is Mary Colbert, founder of Nation Builders and author of Prayer Changes Everything. And now here's your host, Lori Graham Baker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Life with Lori here on the Phoenix set at Morningside Studios. I am so honored to have you with me today, and you are in for a treat because I really do have, I know I say it often, one of my dear friends, but I, this woman is truly one of my dearest friends in all the world. I know I could call her at any time of the day or night. She would pick up the phone. She goes, she would say, Lori, what do you need? Jim, what do you need? Mm -hmm. And her name is Mary Colbert. Oh. Mary, mm -hmm. I love you. She, I always say she's like my older <laughs> sister. I hate to oh. say it because you're only like a year or two <laughs> older. Okay. But you know, but she is, you're, you're older yeah. and, and life when it comes to the spirituality of life, the things of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, someday I want to do some shows with you mm. about mm. you and oh. how you ran after God. Oh man, this uh -huh. woman has so much yeah. inside of her to oh, share. Yeah. And That's of course, good. Mary is Dr. Colbert's mm -hmm. wife. And um, I love you, Don Colbert, but I have to say you are the better half, Mary. <laughs> He's the but smarter he half, is, I have to say. He is brilliant. But today, yeah. Mary, we yes. just taped Jim Baker's shows yesterday, but today we get yeah. to introduce On Life with Laura, your brand new book. Yes. Prayer That Changes Everything, Five Principles to Activate Your Faith. I remember that Jim and I were one of the very first people that mm -hmm. you shared three of these principles with. Mm -hmm. In like January, February right. of exactly 2015. Right. Yes. And we're gonna get into that uh, right. in a little bit. But I, I remember mm -hmm. how huge it was. And when you told it to us, and we were mm -hmm. at your home, mm -hmm. and I remember, I can remember where I was sitting. You know mm -hmm. when that happens in life? You remember where you were when something happens big? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my goodness, so Lord God, mm -hmm. Father, talk to Mary. And this mm -hmm. is serious. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that now it's in a book. So mm -hmm. this book is available for you for just $15. You can just go to um, ptlshop.com. Just go to Life with Lori. You can order the book or you can call 1-888-777-3530. Everybody's going to want to get these five principles to activate your faith. But Mary, before I get into that, I just have to ask you about Nation Builders yes. and your prayer call. Yes. Tell us about Nation Builders. Well, you know, ironically, the visitation that I experienced That's in 2014, little did I know it was setting the stage mm -hmm. for what was coming. He actually prepared me from that for what was coming into my life mm -hmm. that I I didn't plan this. I didn't strategically think, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to do this so that this happens. Right. All I did was respond to each thing from step by step. Right. Which and we're going to talk about these five things. Exactly. And so um, when I realized the word given to me mm -hmm. uh, that the the firefighter had come to our office and at the time he didn't even believe. Right. He didn't. He yeah. said he was asking me. Right. What do you think? Do you think yeah. this is a word from God? Or right. Not? Right. Right. <laughs> and I just remember reading it and the spirit of God went all the way through me. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, no, this isn't you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the spirit of God speaking. Right. And I think that you that's do. an important thing that people, you know, need to recognize. Mm -hmm. um, people think because they use someone one time mm -hmm. that establishes them forever and ever for everything. Hmm. And that's not true. Jonah mm -hmm. was used for one thing. Mm -hmm. Jonah was used to turn Nineveh back. That's right. But he's not known for anything else. Right. But I know for me, for that moment, this word mm -hmm. that he gave, That's right. uh, that I felt the spirit of God used him mm -hmm. in was from the Lord. Because and I, you started a prayer chain, so to speak. It's, I mean, we used to call them prayer chains. I don't, what do you, but it's a prayer phone call. Right. And that's, that was part of, I, I really didn't think I, you know, was going to do anything but get the word out to everybody. And mm -hmm. then one day the Holy Spirit arrested me and he said, Mary, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. But if you think it doesn't require your participation, you need to think again. And I remember thinking, my participation, <laughs> what? Yeah. You know, what do you want me to do? And he said, I want you to begin to gather my people mm -hmm. to begin to pray. Pray for what at that time? 
to pray for this country, mm. that this country come back to me, that this country begin to learn how to hear me. Yes. You know, Lori, the reason people yes. don't pray yeah, right. And the reason people quit praying mm -hmm. is because they don't get results. That's true. They, it's, they see prayer kind of like pixie dust. You, yeah. know, you just throw it up huh. in the air and yeah. you hope it sticks. Right. And that isn't what prayer is. Mm -mm. You know, so much so good. was lost in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus prayed. So mm -hmm. much was lost because remember, the disciples were what? Asleep. They were asleep. Jesus is interceding. He is praying in the most important time of his life. Yes. And the scripture says he comes back and he found him asleep. Mm. So, so much got lost. Wow. If they had stayed awake and documented, they, yes. they didn't document how he prayed, no. what he prayed, right. was the passion he prayed, what came out of his mouth. We have no knowledge. Right. We have no knowledge to this day fully what Jesus so in true. his hour yeah. of greatest intercession with him and the father, <laughs> the disciples go to sleep. sleep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Powerful. I mean, okay. think about <sighs> that. Yeah, when you really try to think about that, I wish we had time just to ponder that for the next few minutes. Now I have but, to tell you. Wow. If women had been there. <laughs> There's uh, been no sleeping. Uh, I know, that's for <laughs> sure. If Mary Colbert had been there, she would have woke you all up. You don't know. I, oh, man, I wish I could share a dream I had last night about it was Mary and me. And this woman was literally fighting against oh. the gates of hell. And it was, I mean, I've been up since like three in the morning. Yeah. Because you, God gave me an amazing dream. And Praise it was God. you and me. And coming Praise against God. Satan and all of his demons, but we know God is greater. So go yes. ahead. You're the prayer. You're, yes. you're the leader yes. of, of prayer. I, I'm telling you, there is a, the women of this country. You know, when I stop and think about how Roe versus Wade oh, came yes. into this country through yes. what one woman. That's right. So all it's going to take is one woman mm -hmm. to reverse that mm -hmm. who has the passion and the uh, the stance mm -hmm. against the forces of this bloodthirst right. for our baby. That's right. And in my book, yes. The Five Principles of Faith, I'm covering many details in there as to why this time is so important and why these five principles are so important mm -hmm. for the church to arise and take its place. That's right. And what you're going to learn is you're going to learn how to pray, mm -hmm. when to pray, and, and the methods of how you pray. For example, I love it. It's really true, Lori. It's really true. The lost art of how to pray, the mm -hmm. lost art of true prayer, mm -hmm. true intercession. The scripture says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. I will enter his courts with praise. Amen. How many times when you go in and pray, oh, God, <laughs> I can't take I it think anymore. I've been there a few times. I mean, we, too many. We've all been guilty of that. Yeah. The murmuring. Mm. The complaining, mm. the brokenness, the the focus in on what God hasn't done and what has been done and what I need, mm. you know, that's not prayer. Mm. Yeah, that's not prayer. Now, I, just, I, I, I don't like to interrupt you, but I just thought of something that okay. you said when we were taping yesterday with right. Jim and, and, and Don on the Jim Baker show. And don't miss any of those shows. They're phenomenal. Um, but you said something about, you know, why people's prayers don't get answered. Mm -hmm. And it's because we need to come with a clean, pure heart right. before the Father. That's one of the principles. That's one of the principles of faith. Uh, it's actually the last principle, principle number five that mm -hmm. he gave me. He told me, he said, now, Mary, teach my people that love, walking in love, is the fuel it's the combustion mm. that will thrust forward that thing you want me to do. Mm -hmm. So in an instant, I had this revelation of understanding. And basically what he was saying to me is it goes too many people try to come to the throne room mm -hmm. and bring Satan with them. Wow. So what does that mean? That means that if you think that you can come before the king of the universe, the king of love, Yes. This is the king of love yes. with hate in your heart, mm. with shame, blame, mm. guilt, 
judgment, resentment, keeping record books of people's wrongs. Jesus gave us a snapshot, a snapshot in, in Revelation. He said that when you come to the altar to mm -hmm. bring your gift, what mm -hmm. is your gift? Your gift is incense of prayers. Yes. But before you give your gift of incense of prayers, because prayers are what changes everything. Mm -hmm. The right kinds of prayers change everything, changes atmospheres, change people's lives, so change true. the direction of things. Yes. It's through the prayers. Now, how can those effectual prayers take power mm -hmm. and actually ha transform? You have to examine your heart. Yeah. Do you have hate in your heart for someone? Mm -hmm. Stop. He said, lay your altar, go mm -hmm. and make it right. Yeah. How many people that you've hurt, you've wounded, mm -hmm. you've slandered, mm -hmm. you've lied about, you've spread gossip about, mm -hmm. and you've never once written a letter, picked up the phone, called and said, I'm sorry I used you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I hurt you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I did. I did these things. Mm -hmm. And that person may never be able to forgive you. They mm -hmm. may not. That's not the point. Right. The point is you tried. You, did. you tried to make reconciliation. Mm -hmm. You tried to make it right. What can mm -hmm. I do? What can I do to make this right? Mm -hmm. I am so sorry I wounded you. I, I made it. I hurt mm -hmm. you in some way. Sometimes it's an unintentional hurt, mm -hmm. but you hear you did hurt them. Mm -hmm. You quickly go. The scripture says quickly go. Right. And try to make it right and say, right. I'm sorry, you know, we blew it. We didn't do it right. What can we do? You know what I found, Jim, Jim has taught me something over the, he's taught me so much, but one thing he's always taught me, he said, Lori, always keep short accounts with God, meaning whatever's going on in your life or whatever's mm -hmm. gone on in the past or anything, just keep short accounts with him. And, and what, he, what he's saying mm -hmm. is exactly that. In your heart, yeah. from your heart, yes. you know, forgive. And the other day, even I was just talking to the Lord, you know, which is praying, you know, I'm <laughs> talking to him nonstop. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and I, I just stopped for a minute mm -hmm. and I, I think I had just read your, the manuscript of your book. Oh. And so of course, prayer was on my, my mind. And I had read that part mm -hmm. of that, that last principle mm -hmm. of love. Um, and so I said, Lord, if there's anybody, if there's anything, and I just asked awesome. the father, but I said, and then, and then I forgive myself. I have to forgive gotta, myself. That's the other part. And that is mm -hmm. a huge part. And I know we've talked part. about that a lot on, on this show, forgiving yourself. Mm -hmm. And and it is huge to do that. Absolutely. And when you do that and you walk, then we get to walk into the throne room before the Father. And it's so exciting. You, you've taught me that. Just like you walk into the throne room before the God of the universe. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, can we go yes. real quick okay. and let's go to this, the principles, a couple okay. of the principles okay. and hit on them because she goes into detail. I love it so much because Mary, this book mm -hmm. you, you truly wrote, believe me, I know. I'm sitting there reading it mm -hmm. going, that's Mary. That's exactly how she talks. <laughs> this is exactly who she is. These are the stories she has told me. Mm -hmm. I know this firsthand. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then she put it in a book mm -hmm. for the world mm -hmm. because I believe in yep. this, that this book is truly, I know this term can be overused, but I really mean it a world changer. This book mm -hmm. will change your world. It will change the world around you. It will change other people's lives. You can get several of them and you can pass them out, hand them out, bless somebody, but um, really should make a baker's dozen available. Well, it, it's an easy read. It's easy. You know, it, but it's, it's very easy. I have, you have uh, stories? stories in it. I, oh, these women. These are true stories. You're going to love this. I story. have lived this. I have walked this. Oh, Mary. So I know what I'm, I know as a person who has fruit. I you have do. fruit. You do. So because of the fruit that I have, I feel very comfortable. First of all, I take very seriously that when the word of God says, when do not say God has said, and he didn't say it. That's right. I take that very seriously. I do too. And I can tell you, I am not going to say to you, God has said, and he didn't. Right. No. Because that, that terrifies me. Yeah. No money. No. You have no nothing <laughs> is worth separate me from him That's and his right. presence. Nothing, so nothing. I can only tell you That's true. <clears throat> what's happened is a true story. Mm -hmm. What he told me to tell you and teach you mm -hmm. is straight from the throne room. Tell but, him what happened right, real quick. It was on okay. Christmas Day, real quick. It's in the book, but when you hear it from Mary, you're going to understand it more. Christmas Day, and I remember you telling us Yes. This. And uh, you know Christmas Day, ladies, you know how we're worn out yes. because we're the ones doing all the work? Oh, <laughs> 
my gosh, you're just like, oh, thank goodness, Christmas. We love celebrating Jesus. But when you're the, you're the wife, you're the yeah. mom, you're the grandma, you yeah. do all the work, you're exhausted. Yes. And by that time, you're ready to get into bed and oh have a God. great sleep, right? Exactly, because you've been cooking, you've been cleaning, <laughs> you've got grandkids there, your house is a wreck, you know, and everybody's on vacation but you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Tell you the know, truth, It's Mary. true. That's when they know it's, it's like, true. That they're in your uh, house, you yeah. know. And, and, you, like, and you want them there and you love them. But anyway, yes, so you do. that night, Christmas right. night. Right. It was about 11 o'clock and everybody's in bed except for Kyle. My son Kyle's up and he's watching TV and doing stuff on the computer. And I look around the room at the house and I think, okay, everything's in order. Everybody's in bed. I'm going to bed. Exactly. And it was about 11 o'clock. And Don keeps our bedroom completely black. I'm the same he's, way. Yeah, he's taught everybody, <laughs> cover the little black dot, you know, the, the green dots, the red dots, sleep right. in darkness. Right. So he's already sound asleep. So I come into the bedroom and it's pitch black mm -hmm. and I feel my way to the bed because I know the path. So I can, I can walk our bedroom in the dark. Of course. And um, I, get it, I get over to the bed and all I remember is getting in the bed and as I, my head hit the pillow, all I remember, that's the last thing I remember, as I laid down and my head hit the pillow, this is Christmas Day night, 2014, suddenly the whole room just lit up like it was daytime. And my first reaction was, it cannot be daytime already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it can't be. Right. I thought it was 11 o'clock when I went into the bedroom. Exactly. You know, so I, and my first reaction is, it can't be daytime. But as soon as like the light appeared in the room and it was like day in the bedroom, a voice spoke out as quickly. And it, my first reaction is I've left a TV on, I left a radio on because you hear the sound of a man's voice speaking. And it sounded at first like Kenneth Copeland to mm, me because when mm -hmm, Kenneth Copeland's mm -hmm. under the anointing, right. you know, when he's under oh, that anointing, so true. it's a booming love, voice, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. And so the voice had that boom come in. That's why my reactions were all so fast. But his first words were, Mary, I have summoned you. You have been summoned. Mary. Say it the way you said it to me. He, I don't know if it'll come in. <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just see if it does. Not okay. kidding. It like reverberated yeah. into Jim and into yeah. me when she said it. Yeah. Well, I just release it, you know, just to release it. Because I, I, do, I do feel like it's the vibrations of that moment in time. I can start are, feeling. <clears throat> I get locked in. Yeah. You know, I get locked and in. So, so a matter you of hear this. You hear this. Like a ma male, and it, it just kind of, you knew it, it wasn't Don. I knew it wasn't Don. Yeah. And in a second, so I knew that it wasn't Ken. Yeah. <laughs> and I realized it's God. It's God speaking. And what did he say? And what again? he said was, Mary, you have been summoned by me. Wow. And the me, when he said me, the me went all the way through my body. Did y'all mm. just feel that? Yes. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. me yeah. too. It's huge. It's so anointed. Um, the me shattered every cell inside of my body. Mm. And it was important to me that I hear that first. Yes. Because years ago, uh, a pastor friend of mine, she told me, she says, Mary, the reason many people aren't able to fulfill their assignment is because some are called some are sent, and some just take a microphone and went. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted to be guilty of just taking a microphone and going. Right. I didn't want to go seek after the fame and the no. stage and no. the, ah, you know, that, mm -hmm. that we all think is a part mm -hmm. of being in the ministry. Right. So I never wanted to be guilty of that mm -hmm. because of what she said. I thought, oh. Man, if I'm ever going, he's going to have to call me himself. Exactly. I remember just thinking that. Right. Just, 
Like, Father, you ever want to use me? It's going to have to be you calling me. Because I've heard of experiences how people knew they were yes. called in the ministry. Yes. They knew they had been set apart. That's right. Because I want to finish my race. Exactly. And I want to finish it strong. Amen. I don't want to fall short. Yes. I don't want to disappoint him. Right. I don't want to bring shame to him. Mm -hmm. Or in any way, mm -hmm. I want to finish my race strong. Yes. And so that was a high standard for me and a requirement for me. Absolutely. So to hear him say to me directly, Mary, you have been summoned by me. Oh. Oh. I knew, he knew I needed to hear that. Yes. To know how serious yes. what he was going about to do. So then his next words were, I want you to teach my people. Mm. Now that's another thing, my people. Right. He didn't tell me I need to go out and teach the world mm -hmm. this. This is for his people. The five principles of faith. One, he says, now write this down. So I tell people today as I'm sharing this with people, I have a small, small, I'm not trying to say I'm like Moses. That's not what I'm saying. But I have a small understanding now mm -hmm. of what Moses went through mm -hmm. and why it took him 40 days to get 10 words. Mm. Called the Ten Commandments. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. So because by the third, I was done. My body could not handle anymore. I, I was my body was at a tipping point that he knew I couldn't handle anymore, and he stopped. So he gave you the first three. The he first gave me one, just the first three. I, I remember what. And she, there was a big. Yeah. There was four or five months before he even gave me the last two. Right. Because I'll, honestly, he knew I couldn't handle it. He knew I physically couldn't handle it. Exactly. So he went yeah. into, and then the book. You go into. I go it. into the, the first, first one, principle. Faith must be in action, constant motion, like a river. He says, if your faith is not in constant motion, your faith is dead. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a God of a universe that my universe is expanding as I stand here. Mm. God is a God of expansion. Powerful. Grow, expand. Your faith must, must be in a motion of expansion. Mm, yes. if, it's, if, it's, if it's stagnant, if it's not growing, he says, your faith is dead. Yes. So good. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Second principle. I love this principle. <laughs> I love every single one of them. It's changing my life. Yeah. It's changing yeah. my prayer life. Which means okay, prayer life is just like life. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. Really the, all, right, all right. The second principle, oh, he, says, get the book. he says, teach my people to have the kind of faith that excites me. Oh, my goodness. And that's what he said. I want my people to have the kind of faith that excites me. Yes. Not the kind of faith that excites your parents or right. family members or church. Yeah. Have the kind of faith that excites me. Put your focus back on me. Oh, that is so to powerful. To expand your faith. And it's so beautiful. To think Isn't it that beautiful? God, it's beautiful. It is. And, and don't we all want to have the faith to that excite you? Yeah. Father God. <gasps> and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and emotion at that moment... I got a glimpse of the centurion where he was standing and talking to Jesus. And, and he says to Jesus, no, no, don't. You don't have to come to my son. Speak the word mm. and your word will heal him. Yes. And what did Jesus say? Oh my I have goodness. not seen such great a faith in all of Israel. So that good. centurion had the kind of faith that excites God. Yes. So what is it? He believed him at his word. Yes, that's so When you believe God at his word, you excite him. Oh, that's so good. Okay, principle number three. Oh, oh my, sorry. Faith is the substance of things. Mm. And what he means by that, and I go into detail in the book. Yes, you do. Is each and every one of you have things mm -hmm. that you need God to do. Amen. And I'm not talking about a car. No. Our house. Right. Our jewelry. No. And I'm not he's no, not talking not about things. that kind of thing. No. He knows what things you have need of before mm -hmm. you pray. That's right. What he's talking about, food and shelter and stuff. He knows those things you are in need of. What he was saying to me, and I knew instantly, in part, how I knew instantly he was talking about, is that we all have things yeah. in our life that we need the Spirit of God to invade. Mm -hmm. We need the Spirit of God to change. Oh, so true. Whether it's a child on drugs, yeah. out of rebellion, yes. a husband who doesn't want to go to church, mm -hmm. um, 
you know, There's, we all have things. We all do. Those you things. Can, you can name your own Go things on down right the now. things, yeah. you know. Uh, exactly. And, and it's, it goes on and on for each person, and everybody's different yes, on those so things. True. And God understands that. He's and a he, personal God. He and is. he's very detailed. And he's mm. very specific he with you. Care. So he wants you to be very specific with him. Yeah. What is that thing so good. you want him to do? Write it down. Mm -hmm. Be detailed. Mm -hmm. See it. And he said, when you can see it, begin to praise me. Yes. See it. See it in detail, that thing. Yes. As done. Okay, so that's principle number four. Yes. That's seeing it as it is done. Finished. Done. And you praise him. And then the last is the love. Mm, which we touched Love on is the fuel that would combust that thing forward. This is so powerful, and the, Mary. And the book, I go into very detail, very specific you know, what's so amazing about these five principles yeah. is it's similar to the Bible in that the Holy Spirit will take and you will build upon these principles. Yes. In other words, you'll real, read it and the Holy Spirit will take it to another level in your life. That's you'll read true. that and go, oh man, but you know what? I see... And he takes you on to another level. That's so true. And he it's will, so good. And he will add to it in your own life. Yes. Because that's how the Holy Spirit works. That's right. He will give you something. You meditate upon it. And then he will magnify it in your own life of understanding. And then it will grow. And that's oh, what I'm excited about. Oh, my goodness. This, this is going to change. This is. It's going to be this, changing. It's, it's already, you know, just by reading the manuscript as they call or the galleys yeah. as they call them. Yeah. We were sent that. Just by reading that, Mary, this past couple yeah. weeks, and, and even though I've heard the story, you've told me personally yeah. exactly what he, she just shared with mm -hmm. all of you. Okay. And... Um, I'm just telling you that that it's literally reading this mm -hmm. and in in mm -hmm. ink, and then and knowing that knowing you, and and it, it's already doing that for me. It's expanding my faith. It's ex, mm -hmm. it's I'm seeing things that I know that need to be done. Then God gives me this really supernatural dream last night. Mary's in it, and we are like going after going to this. Warfare. We are in warfare, and it was powerful. So, Isn't it amazing oh, that this book goodness. is coming out at this time with this coronavirus? Yes, absolutely. And fear is trying to grip the yes, earth. Yes. I want you to know the Word of God says the fearful and unbelieving in Revelation will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. Fear and faith are on opposite polar end. That's right. This is about faith. This yeah. is not about walking in fear. No. And this, I believe the timing, it, he told me to release right it on. now. Yes. I have not had permission to release it. And, and so, now is the time. Such so a time you can this. get your book right now. Remember all the donations that you make to Life with Lori, all the proceeds from the products. Remember all of them go to help fund Lori's house, the operating expenses for Lori's house, to keep Lori's house running, which is so powerful, to save those precious babies and their precious mamas. So order as many books as you can for just $15 a book. That's just... That, they need to give it to everybody give they it to know. Every, everybody you know. Everyone you know. So call us right now. 1-888-777-3530 or, or go to ptlshop.com. Life with Lori. Mary, I love you. I, I, love I you. do. I adore you. I love, I love all we love sides you and of Jim. you. We and love, I know. And you love it. Your partners yes. they are such good people. They are. You know, I tell best. people, you know, Jim Baker, we know a lot of people in the ministry, but the partners of Jim Baker are the salt of the earth. They are. Guys, you are the salt of the earth. They God are. sees them as the preservative of the gospel. Oh, take that, guys. If we have True. to go, I love you. I love True. you. I adore you. Oh, okay. So we'll talk to you later. See you next time on Life with Lori. Thank you for watching the broadcast with Lori Graham Baker. To help support our broadcast ministry through the purchase of any of the items shown, please call 1-888-777-3530. Or you can go online to www.ptlshop.com forward slash Life with Lori. Thank you for your prayers and support that helps keep us broadcasting around the world.